What's up, my YouTube family? Okay, guys, hold on. Let me just make sure my lighting is all the way right for you guys. Sorry, my little face is gonna be greasy. It's gonna have to be greasy today, okay? She'll be greasy today <laughs> because I just don't have time every day to be putting on all this makeup. I got so much to do, and it's a Monday, y'all. It's crazy, okay? So today, guys, I want to talk about, um, let me say, I just want to look how it's looking, and y'all can put whatever comments you want to put. I don't care. Sister is busy, okay? Anyways, y'all, okay, so I just wanted to discuss some things. Um, y'all, I really want to talk, this is a, a, a criminal case. Okay, and I want y'all to understand and get ready for the fact that they are getting ready to arrest y'all with all deliberate speed for everything. Okay, please realize that Corona has uh, tipped and dipped into the pockets of all the government entities, national on down to the state level. And right now, they have got to make up for lost time and money. Okay, don't get mad at me for saying this. I'm just being honest. But whenever a Democrat's in office, they spend, 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 and it's no money. It's no money. It's no money. Now, when Republicans get in office, what they spend their time doing because they're money-making individuals is building up the money. They do spend it as well. I'm not going to say they don't. Um, <clears throat> but in my opinion, um, they spend much more time building things up, okay? Um, and then they cut a lot of programs and, you know, take a lot of things away from us. Um, but they're trying to build up the money while they steal it. Okay, no, I'm just joking. So... Um, Democrats, there are a lot of spending. There's a lot of spending that goes on. Okay, so right now we have a Democrat in office, but we love him. We need Joe Biden. Okay, um, he we need some balance. Um, but there's spending going on. Okay, and then Corona happened. You know, we are at a place and at a huge deficit and disadvantage. Okay, so what happens is at first all the government entities are overloaded. Okay, they're overloaded, so they can't really get to you. Like, a lot of people couldn't be arrested. They only arrested really who they had to arrest, right? Um, people were getting all these PR bonds, personal recognizance bonds, meaning they're getting out on their own word, okay? Bonding companies weren't getting paid as much because a lot of PR bonds were being given, okay? Um, all of this stuff happens whenever you're in a crisis, okay? When you're in a crisis, okay? And you've got to give the government uh, time to catch up with itself, okay? To catch up with itself. And what they're doing right now is they're catching up with themselves okay they're catching up so the courts are starting to call people back um and not all the courts um but a lot of them are calling people back in okay um there are just different things that are happening what are what it, but the the system is getting its feet underneath it okay and that's something that uh i don't know if that would have ever been done if we would have continued to have donald trump i don't know but the system is getting their its feet back underneath it okay and places are opening up all different states are opening up and now it's a money grab okay the government has got to make this money back they are giving additional money and food stamps they're giving it they're having to give this money in unemployment they had to sponsor all these vaccines the government has had to spend a lot of money okay um for the people because they just had to okay and it's something that they're not gonna not do it and just leave y'all stuck out they've had to give you you know checks okay and so where is the money coming from it's coming from you know our bank our our our, our internal you know uh little bank here but the united states is also always borrowing okay it's always borrowing we owe a lot of countries but we're stiff we're stiff thin up so what happens is because we're so stiff we just won't we would just raw people raw dog not pay people back when we're supposed to um and this is something i'm going to discuss and um and i'm gonna probably put it on the di um, african diaspora news channel or i'll put it here i'll post it but i'm gonna talk to y'all about um the united states the gold system um how gold has a play in our government, um, our economy, uh, wh who we owe money to, how that has a play in the laws and the way that the laws are designed and cater and, and who's catered to, um, which gives a, a good outlook on probably why uh, Trump did all he was doing with the Russians. Okay, it's just it's all a money thing. So anyways, you got to replace the money. So how are you going to replace the money on people's backs? Okay, modern day slavery is basically how you're going to do it. Now, I'm not only modern day slavery. Like, I'm not trying to go there with the stuff we did. We have Juneteenth. I'm not really on the soapbox to discuss um, racial inequality and all that. But I'm just saying modern day slavery as a whole. Makes sense? The prison system. Okay? 
The government makes its money writing tickets, penalizing folks, and getting the penalty fee. That's how they make money. Okay, on top of just the the all you know the roundabout way of the economy as well. But if the economy is crippled and it's not going as fast or making as much money, you're going to have to get on the penalization side and pump more over there so that you can get some money into the government. So that's what they're doing, okay? So, guys, you cannot be riding around with no registration right now. You cannot be riding around with no seat belts. You cannot be riding around with warrants and you're in your vehicle because they're going to scan it and that's it. You're going to jail. You cannot be riding around basically doing stuff you're not supposed to do. DWIs. They're getting ready to hit all of that stuff, okay? Um, hard, hard and heavy, okay? The only reason they're not moving even faster is because of the labor that is involved. They probably don't have enough, well, not probably, they don't have enough workers, enough officers as well that are out there. But you also have to have the people to process this. You have to have the district attorney's office and the DAs to try the cases. You have to have the courts to take the cases, okay? But they're getting ready to start pushing. They're already, they have already started. It normally starts with us and we can see it going on in the court. And then we start to see way more arrests, okay? So I'm letting you know for the past month or so, they've been humping, boom, boom, hitting it. Hitting it at court with the court dates. They're even making some of y'all start to come back to court. Physical in-person court now. If you pay attention to that, they're getting ready to start upping the arrests, okay? And I said that to say this. A lot of y'all are out on bond. Okay, um, you you halfway paying your lawyers, you halfway paying your bondsmen, and you're still out there in the streets, and you can do whatever it is you want to do. Your business, not mine. But at the end of the day, you need to be on top of your P's and Q's because the very same people that arrested you are looking for easy licks. Just like, and it, it, it's crazy to me because people think that uh, I don't know how what they how they think an officer with the mind works, but a quick lick is a quick lick, and that's on any any in in, 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 in any business. Okay. So if you are the one that they always drag to jail and you always got dope on you and the cops know you or whatever, you going to jail, baby, because that's a quick, easy lick. They finna hand you up. They're about to get you. Um, take you to jail. Okay? They need to get some more cases under their belt. And they also need you off the street in their, you know, in their minds. They want you off the street. Um, and they, they'll get to you. Okay? Quotas are going up. Okay? And you can be a, a number if you want to, but I don't want y'all to be a number. Okay, y'all that are on bond and stuff, go ahead. Let me tell y'all something. I don't understand why people don't go ahead and just clean their money up or clean up. And I'm not telling you to, I, let me just put it like this. If you've been in the streets for so long, just go and do something that's legal. You know, you can't, you can't, money comes how it goes. It goes how it comes. And when money comes fast, it goes fast. And if you guys are, I mean, clean yourselves up. I don't know any other way to say it. Um, I'm not telling you to money launder because that's illegal. But what I'm telling you is, is that you need to get out of the streets and you probably need to get out of the streets now. Okay? You can remain and do whatever you want to do, but you know eventually you're going to go to jail. And what you are is putting yourself in an occupation, okay, that has a very high risk <laughs> uh, right now. It's, it's a risky business, you know. Um, they've had time to be watching people over Corona. And they haven't busted people because they don't want to. And they busted some because they want to. But they are getting ready to have to meet their quotas. So people that they already are in cahoots, meaning they know you, they know where you stay, uh, whatever, what have you, you're going to be the first ones getting locked up, going in. you out there driving crazy, you about to go. It's, it's not about to be anymore. It's corona going on and the prisons are full. They, put, they, they pretty much are not caring about that. They're moving people quicker than ever before straight to TDC from the county jail. At least in Texas, they're moving them. They're moving them quick, okay? And that's because they're trying to get spots ready for people coming in, okay? They have a new joint processing center. It works pretty quickly, okay? You can process straight to TDC from downtown now. So, I mean, it is what it is. So, what I want y'all to do is understand that uh, you don't need to be off in the streets. Uh, I know summertime, the block is hot, but you will go to jail, okay? Um, and I'm just telling you that because I see it. It's happening, okay? Um, it's happening. They're getting their feet underneath them, y'all. And whenever they got their feet underneath them, you know exactly where the, who they're coming to to fill up these spots, okay? We don't need it to be us. We don't need it to be us. Straight like that. So y'all have a fantastic day. 
not trying to be all somber, but I just want to let y'all know that y'all need to be on your P's and Q's at this time. They are arresting, okay? It's getting ready to get hotter, okay? It already does in the summertime, but the government needs their money back, baby, from Corona, sweethearts. So, can y'all, like, understand, okay, that that's what's getting ready to happen, especially in Republican states. Republican areas, you better get back. You know what I'm saying? You need to be on your on your on your game because they 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 they're they gonna make up for this money that they're having to spend. Okay, y'all have a fantastic day.